Malini, and I'm so excited that we have the one and only amazing Diandra, who's here at the Divas Mali headquarters today. Thank you, it's amazing to be here. You look amazing. Thank you. How do you look like this after being in, like, how many weeks have you been in the Big Boss house? I don't know how many weeks. I should probably find out how many weeks, but <laughs> I gotta get my payment. But, uh, <laughs> uh, but uh, three months? So I don't know, 13 weeks, 12 weeks, something like that. So I have, first I have to ask you, when you went into the house, was it what you was it what you expected it would be like or did you have no idea what to Then it wasn't the house, it was a plane. <laughs> so, uh, so I was in, uh, you know, I mean in a little bit of a shock. Yeah. But, uh, and then I never wanted to take a plane to anywhere after those. I saw because the first few episodes you go in and then we're like, where's the house? And then you had to sleep there and you had like no like no suitcase of clothes and they just made you just survive. Yeah, I was one of the lucky people with no um, no no clothes. <laughs> so yeah, so then I just um, landed up borrowing clothes from pretty much everyone. Or I don't know, I, you know, I think I even wore somebody's um, entry outfit can can <laughs> on one of the episodes. But yeah. That's amazing. So, you of course have a ton of fans across Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus, Instagram. You've been flooding my social media with questions for you. Ah, uh, and haters. And we're going to see. So, this entire conversation, interview is dedicated to everyone who's asked questions. I'm going to ask you everything, and you being the Andrew, are going to answer everything as honestly as you can, okay? So, over a month since you've been evicted, you're still one of the most talked about Big Boss contestants, which is amazing. Uh, Parneet, Sonali, Punita Star were also favorites, but unlike them, you're not an out of sight, out of mind case. What was your secret? What do you, did you do something special? <laughs> yeah, no, I kept wondering. My name kept coming up in episodes even now. Like up until the last episode with Farah. Um, I don't know, I think I'm special. You are I don't have special. to do anything special. <laughs> and Ben is back in the house as a guest. Uh, you think you could have gone back instead or would you have declined if they asked you to go back? Or you would have gone back? No, I think I would have gone back. Are you planning to? People still are wondering. I know, people are still asking, but you know, I think it's high time everyone comes out, out of that house now. I know, that's the best thing. I think everybody more in, because, yeah. um, yeah, it's just, they need to come out to the real world. In fact, this whole thing with Big Boss, Halabo, the challengers entering the house, and then, you know, being pitted against champions, do you think it's fair? Was it weird? Did you know this is going to happen? Um, well, I mean, I heard about it right in in the beginning when it started happening. Yeah. I guess it, it actually happened like literally a day after I got it. Yeah. Um, but uh, it is unfair. Yeah. It is unfair. But I guess, um, you know, for whatever reasons, they had to have an extension, so they did. Yeah. Um, but I think it's a bit stretched and it's a bit dull, honestly. I mean, I think it would have just ended nicely for just ended ended it there. Yeah. So you were pretty close to both Deepa and Karishma, um, and like everyone's watching this unfold, and everybody wants to know what do you think about this upma situation, as they're calling it, and and do you think that it's like true love or it's a TRP? You know, like I say, I think I prefer poa. I don't know what this upma situation is all about, but um, uh, yeah, okay. So here's the deal: I am friends with um, with Deepa and Karishma. And I know that Upen kind of, you know, had kind of, he liked Krishma, but then again, Upen liked all the girls in the house. <laughs> so, um, my take on it is Krishma has been going on and on and on about having a boyfriend for like three and a half months. And Ali even bought her gifts from, from her boyfriend yeah. and all of that. So, even if you develop feelings or have any of this, I feel that it's really not in good taste to do something like this um, on national journey <laughs> way, like they say in the big boss house. Yeah. Um, I mean, you know, okay, fine, I can be the queen of Chaurya Me and people will think that I would agree with this. But I think, it's a, I think it's a little tacky to have done this on national television. That even if she had feelings for them, they could have, I think that she could have come out, sorted her issue with, you know, Rusha. Uh, I don't even know what what he's probably going to, but... Apparently um, he's having a meltdown on Twitter today, if that's his real Twitter account. Yeah, I don't know yeah. if that's his yeah. real Twitter account, uh, but I, I don't know. I mean, I think that this could have been done uh, nicely, and even if they are my friends, I would still call a spade a spade, so, you know, this is what I have to say about it. 
And I think in one of the interviews, uh, you had said, you know, you need a few more episodes to say who you think should win or who you think is going to win. So are they two different people who you think will win and who should win? And uh, no, they're <laughs> not. Uh, they're not. I, everyone keeps asking me that. Uh, <clears throat> Salman asked me the same thing at the finale. But I, who I think should win and who should win are like, what, you know, they're the same people. I think that Gotham should win. I also think most of Twitter thinks Gotham should win with the Gotham Gulati fever. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, it's, um, aside of that, I, I mean, aside of the, the voting craze and like how many votes are coming in, I, I have watched a few of the past episodes and I'm obviously watching the current episodes and I think that we should be. And finally, do you think your judgment during the show was ever clouded now that you've seen previous episodes and you've seen, you know, what people said behind your back and things like that? You know, I haven't, I haven't really watched that much, but I think that with a few people, yes. Um, I think I got most people down right, but I think with a few people, yeah, I did uh, have a little bit of a clouded judgment yeah. at, at points. So what's the first thing people came, when you came out of the house, what's the first thing someone told you, like, babe, that this happened and you don't know if you know this happened? Um, no, I think everyone was just that's the Pathu Leela topic. <laughs> I think everyone, I think most people want to know if Gotham's a good kisser. That's what everyone wants to know. Now I kind of want to know. <laughs> 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 uh, should I let it out? Tell uh, us, please tell us. <laughs> oh, I don't kiss and tell. <laughs> That's kind of amazing. I think we got our answer. Let's stay tuned. We're going back with lots more and answers to more of your questions right here on Miss Don't forget to subscribe right here. The little red box. Hit subscribe right now. Make sure you like and share this video and stay tuned to MissMai.com for lots more.